Hey everyone, what's up? Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So in this video, I'll talk about Volumax. And by using this, you can exactly create any kind of image with a cool 3D depth and you can animate that as well by using few simple steps. So without wasting any time, let's get started. first part of this tutorial and the second part we're releasing tomorrow so for that like comment share and also subscribe now let's jump into this tutorial now guys when you successfully download and unzip this file of this volume max you find this is not a software this is not a plugin because this is a exactly after effects aep file yes so when you open this folder for the very first time you can exactly find these five options in fact these five setups so first of all is called assets the second one is easy paint tool and the third one is like a F normal and the fourth and the fifth one is to a basic after effects aep file so the first one is made for cc 2018 and the second one is for cs6 so let's jump into after effects by clicking the cc 2018 version so right now we are in after effects version cc 2020 the latest released version and in this file when you open this for the very first time you can find so many instructions which can exactly help you to create your image output in a really simplematic way so as you can see for the very first time when you open this you can find this option called insert your picture here okay so for this obviously we need a picture now as i told this is the first part of the tutorial so we will cover for this tutorial only the portrait division so let's import the image first so this is the image which i'll be using for this composition so let's go to the composition panel and let's drag and drop into this here here okay after that we have to scale this to fit with this composition so just right click transform and then fit to comp so right now what happened the image will squeezed up and it will fit to the comp so now we have to go to the second division of this tutorial which is a to your displacement map so just click here now where you can find these two options which is first one is like 3d portal tool and second one is like smart mask tool now in the first part we'll cover only the 3d portrait division and the second tutorial will be based on the smart mask tool and guys trust me this tutorial will be a lot of fun so don't skip this video so just turn this 3d portrait one on and just double click here so whenever you turn this on you can find a very cool 3d mesh inside of this layer so what is exactly it is you have to create a good displacement map or you can call it as a depth map so by using this mesh you can exactly create this iron man character or tony stark character 3d mesh with a very good depth now as you can see the skull is little bit bigger from this image so just we have to scale it down so by pressing s on your keyboard you can exactly scale it down something like that now you have to match with this image so it will matching something like that now go to this edit controls where you can find you can exactly rotate this environmental skull so from this option you can exactly rotate this so just rotate the skull as it's exactly needed so in this scenario i'm rotated in something like that and then you have to match with this after that if you notice it should be a little bit rotate so just press on the screen press w here and you can exactly rotate it it's just a basic rotation and then you have to match it again now the rest of the parts how you can manage these two alls it's very simple so first of all you can squeeze this something like that to make it as much as possible to make it visible here so just make align it again now almost it's matched now you have to match the rest of the parts which is like eyes the ears and all so how you can do that so we have a tool called this one which is a like normal liquify tool you can exactly liquify this mesh here just click here and then what you can do just click and drag it to here so what happened the ear will be liquefied and you can exactly measure and you can exactly make their own positions just press ctrl z now you have to match these eyes now go to this wrap tool option where you can decrease the brush sizes from like this and then you have to align this to something like that now i'm doing this alignment pretty fast forward so that you can understand the exact idea that how it exactly should be doing so now like, as you can see the mesh is completely fit with this image now you have to go through with the other options which is called the background object 2 and background object 1 and where you can find these two options as well which is called foreground object 1 and also foreground object 2 so now i'll go through with more options with this information here now if you turn this off of this checkbox option you can exactly see the 3d depth here it's very looking really amazing 3d depth and guys trust 
trust me, this exactly depth can create your image in a 3D way. Okay, so just turn this on again. Now you have to create the rest of the depth here. So how you can do that? Let me show you that first. Okay, so first of all, if you find the background object tool, just turn this on. And now what you can do, just go to the pen tool and you just have to draw your basic shapes which you want to create some good depth. So in this case, I'll create this neck area to create a good depth for this. So let's draw a shape and normal masking shapes and make it simply roughly and simply like this. So just cover it up with this and whenever you just click here and just turn this off of the checkbox, you can exactly see the gray color will be appeared here. Now the gray colors are different. So what you have to do, just click here, go to this panel here and just click off this area gray color. So just click here. So now what happened, both the gray colors are exactly blend together. Now go to this 3D portrait again, where you can find these many options like lights, boost and all, like these other options which can exactly help you to create more good displacement map. Now guys, let me tell you one more important step here that make sure Sure your depth should be created properly so that your output will also come more exactly good way now turn this checkbox one again now what you have to do just click this one now you want a little bit blurish here so just turn this on the blur one and just decrease the blurness to a little bit down so let's take around 17% is good enough and then go to the background object one and just click it one again now we have to take this paint tool again now you have to draw this area for the rest of the background part so just it's basic simple masking areas and now after after that it will be done now go to the portrait one again and let's turn this off now you can exactly see this is exactly look like now this area is a little bit sharper so what you can do select this much tool and from here just smudge it a little bit down so that it will blend with this so that the depth will also come properly it will just blend should be something like that so now as you can see the background objects are completely done with the cool depth now if you want to create a more depth on foreground you can exactly do that so just again turn this on and just i'll show you the only one part of this now as this is a male character if you have any omen character you can exactly turn this off and turn this on so this will create a lady character 3d mesh where you can do the exact same to same way to create a very good depth so i'm just turn this off and turn this on back again now talking about the foreground object just turn this on again now if i want to add some nose area a little bit highlighted so just select this foreground object select the paint tool and again draw a mask on this nose area so what exactly it's mean let me show you so just click this one turn this off now you can see the nose area is highlighted yes guys now select this one and turn this blur one and exactly if you decrease the blur value so now what happened this nose area is exactly popped out when you convert it into a 3d now see this white is very high so what you can do you can decrease the white value so a little bit down so that it will exactly match with this but a little bit higher so the what meaning is the white values are popped up and the black values are go back okay so the final output is completely done because we have successfully created our 3d mesh in this composition so now the next step which is exactly we have to go to the main comp which is this one 4k now we have several presets here which is this one exports preset if you click here you can find this many presets option but i have a good system so i have to go to the main com 4k so now whenever we go to main com 4k the very first time it will start loading and after that your image will come here like this now you can find a null object between of this screen so now what you have to do you just have to select this null object and whenever you move it you can exactly see a 3d depth yes guys really cool right so guys for that just like here comment and also subscribe if you really love the video till now okay so now you can animate this exact image but i'm not doing any kind of animations here i just showing you the moving objects and how the 3d depth will look like you can go top bottom left and right but guys trust me it's a little bit slower because it's really high comp you have exactly create 3d depth inside of this software so now what you can do you can find so many other options which is in this left panel so let me show you what the exactly it will do so this is a vertical mode if you turn this on you can exactly post it this many things inside of instagram yes guys this is also really cool option which is coming from that just turn this on back again now you have to find so many options but you can play with this all now i just want to show you a few options that how exactly it will work so let me show you with this dirt one so if you increase the dirt value you can exactly see on the screen some dirts are exactly visible here you can notice this so whenever you move with this null object you can exactly feel so realistic 3d depth now you have find some cool lens flare as well so if you increase the lens flare from here you can exactly see the lens flare is coming from this direction and also you can change the lens flare by flare selector so you can find so many other lens flares as well 
yes so now you can move this the lens flares are also moving yes we have so many different several options like depth of field colors parallax option if this is a parallax options so just decrease or increase you can exactly see the parallax are moving i prefer don't play with this parallax because it can destroy your image completely so just for the tutorial purpose i just have to animate a little bit so just press p here and just click this to xy go to the last frame and you have to animate it a little more something like that so when you play this composition the composition will look something like that which is really looking amazing and if you find this it looks so realistic by using this you can exactly create your portrait with a pretty amazing 3d depth so guys this is for the first part of this tutorial and if you really like this video tutorial from volume x then don't forget to like comment share see you on part two which will be releasing tomorrow till then have fun stay healthy and keep watching keep rocking vfx world